Hey, I'm Coach Kozak, and today I'm going to introduce you to a new way to break through your plateaus. I call this a drop superset technique, and we're going to start with a heavier weight for lesser repetitions, immediately followed, supersetted by taking off some weight for a, uh, we're going to take off 10% off uh, at a time, and then we're going to uh, do more reps on the next set, we're going to take off another 10%, do more reps, etc. I have a few different variations of this, so make sure you click that link in the video description under the workout, and I'll send you to HasFit for all my different variations. Okay, on to the workout. Okay, let's get started with the first superset. First one of two is going to be an incline dumbbell chest press. I'm on the incline bench. I have my dumbbells ready to go. Lying back, this is a great one for your pectoris major, your upper chest, your triceps, and your shoulders. We're going all the way up, all the way down. Don't click them together. Just all the way up, all the way down. Second one is also going to be on this incline bench. It's an incline dumbbell supported row. So this bench is actually going to help me to not use any momentum in my row. Not the most comfortable one, but it is effective. On your stomach, with the bench in your chest, all the way up, all the way down. Elbows are in. Great one for your lats and your biceps. Switching into move named after Arnold. We're going to the Arnold press. It's a curl shoulder press combination, so we are going to get a little biceps in in this workout. Upright posture, seated position. First, you're going to curl with your palms up. When you get to the top, I want you to press up and twist. So we're going one, two, three, four. Great movement all around. Nice compound multi joint movement. Okay, next we're going to do a barbell upright row. So I have a barbell set up here. It's a great one for your, tra uh, for your traps and your anterior shoulders. Standing up straight, hands are shoulder width apart. We're going to keep good posture. We're going to bring your elbows high and back down. Elbows high as they can, not your hands high, but your elbows high and back down. You can also use dumbbells for this one if you don't have a barbell. We're going to do some chest in the next one. We're coming on over here to the incline, or I'm sorry, to the cable crossover, I should say. Setting up your cable crossover, both cables to the top, handles on each, equal weight on both sides. This movement isolates your chest, standing in the middle. Now, two ways to do it, you can either stagger stance, one foot in front, or you can do a 50-50. I don't really have a a preference, whichever you prefer. Knees are bent though, either way. Now, hugging a tree, keeping your elbows bent. I want you to squeeze your chest. Squeeze your chest every time. Stretch your chest and squeeze it. All right, last one. We're also going to do on the cable. It's a low rope cable face pull. Works out a different part of your back that often gets ignored. I want you to drop the cable to the bottom. Set up a rope on it. Stepping back, weights in your hips, good posture. Pulling your elbows high. Low rope, cable face pulls. Pulling elbows high and pulling the rope towards your face. Great one for your upper back. For all those little upper back muscles that often get ignored in your regular routine. All right, so this has been our upper body drop set workout. I'm Coach Kozak. Make sure you click that link in the video description to send you to HasFit for all the reps and sets and how this gets put together. If you like this workout, subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook. I'll see you next workout.